Okay, so I thought I would do an open cup pour. And actually, I started doing it before I realized I hadn't turned on the camera. So I flooded my canvas with white paint, and I am layering some paint colors into the rim of a cup. And I'm trying out the Artist Loft uh, pre pre-mixed. As you can see, I've got yellow, blue, and red. And I'm also using black that is also Artist Loft Premix, and I'm using a gold that is not. Well, I didn't get the cells that I thought I would get. Uh, it's working out kind of interesting. You just keep adding layers and layers of paint and moving, moving the rim around a bit. This paint is much thinner than I would normally use for an open cup pour. And you'll see later when I'm trying to move the paint, it is really liquid and it's moving quickly on top of the base coat. So it's interesting, uh, the paint is actually looking pretty good in the beginning. Uh, not all the paint has deposited yet. Some of the colors are blending nicely, giving me a turquoise, some nice texture, but there's no cells. I'm sort of surprised. I lifted the rim of the cup and took it off and then decided, no, I needed more paint, which was a mistake, as you will see. So I added more layers of paint and continued to move the open cup around the canvas. About here, I really like the way it looks. I like the composition. I find it really interesting, but the minute I pick it up and start to tilt, I can see that there is far too much paint in the center of this canvas. And it is a lot thinner paint than what I'm used to. So it is really moving quickly, as you can see, as I tilt. If I could have, I would have left the painting like this, but it was probably going to end up cracking. So I start thinking, how am I going to fix this? I don't normally ever pour paint off because I work with a lot of negative space. But oh my, look at how that paint moves. There is a lot of really liquid paint in the middle. If I could have left it, I would have left it. I really like this. So I start doing some smears. But look at that paint, look at it go. There is way too much there. I would have loved to have stopped the painting right here. I was very happy, but no, it had to go.
Okay. I have to dump some paint off. I am not happy about this, but there's no way around it. Look at all that paint. I dump a little bit off, I go back. Eh, it's still looking good, but I take my palette knife and I, I go in to do some schmears and the paint is so thick. You can see how quickly it moves. I would have loved to have kept it right there. I really would have, but no, I had to pour more paint off.
So it's time to pull out the big guns. I've never used this palette knife before. It's more like a shovel. And I start trying to move paint off from the center of the canvas. This is muddies it up a little bit. Uh, there's an awful lot of uh, fine detail in there that isn't doing well with being sort of smeared off the edge of the canvas. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a choice. There is so much paint in the center there. So I keep shoveling it off. At this point, I'm hoping to be able to let it be, and I turn off the camera and I leave it. And I go and I look at the video and I think about it for a while. I think I like it about here, but I know, I know as I swipe, there's a lot of thick paint still there. I go and I think about it for a little bit, and then I come back. So I'm back and I'm doing some more schmears. I do some more tilting. I'm really not happy with the mess I'm making on the right side of the canvas. Uh, paints are blending a little too much. They're a little bit uh, watered down by the white base coat. But I know I have to get paint off. There's still far too much paint on here. Uh, it is flowing off the top, it's flowing off the side. I know I have to keep tilting and removing paint. There's just no way around it. It is a really pretty piece, but the end result isn't, isn't as pretty as I wanted it to be. I play a little bit more with my palette knife. I do a few swirls. I, I don't think this painting is gonna hold up as it dries. There's still more paint on it than I would like there to be. But I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna video it and actually the little bits in it are actually quite interesting. So I hope you enjoyed. You can't always win. Actually yesterday was a complete loser. Today at least 
it's pretty to some degree, but isn't what I was expecting out of the premix paints at all. So I'll go back to the drawing board with them. I found them too thin and there's no cells to be seen. 